Hello, this is Raina with Lilo Crafts and I hope you guys all had a happy Valentine's Day. I am coming on today because I found this giant gift bag at a thrift store and I couldn't resist picking it up. A, because it's pink and B, because it has polka dots, both my favorite things, some of my favorite things. And so you can see that I cut the bottom off and I cut the sides off, of which I'm thinking these might be fun, like belly bands. So I think, so I have two of those pieces, the side pieces, and I have a couple of these pieces as well, and in the making of it, smaller. And then I cut two of these, and these are approximately eight and a half by 11. I think they're a little bit smaller because it took me a bit to try and get the edges straight. So I'm thinking that these can be pages inside of a journal and I'm working on making ephemera for a botanical journal. So we might decorate these next. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just round the corners on these. And I am using the smaller side, the quarter inch side. And then what I'm gonna do is take my vintage photo and ink around the edges. Now, if you're ever like stuck on what to do, which I definitely get stuck, I think it's always a wonderful, wonderful idea to go ahead and do some simple things that you know, hey, that this could help you get unstuck <laughs> or help you get to where you want to be. And since I have been inking more recently, I thought that would be just a good place to start. Now, this is also my year of Crash My Stash. So I'm um, using the hashtag Crash Your Stash. I'm doing an open collaboration with Dale of Not Too Shabby Chic. And we are really trying to look at our stash and go ahead and make things with things, especially forgotten things. Do you have stuff like when you clean out your craft room that you kind of forgot? I definitely do. And I have been cleaning out my craft room because I have been moving my craft room from one room to another room in our home. And the reason for that is because my husband wanted to do a train room. So he likes trains, I've shared that before, and the other room that I was in is longer, it is bigger, but it is longer in length. So to make the train do the loop, and he has a big train as well as like medium sized train, he said it would be easier on his choo-choo <laughs> if we could, you know, trade rooms. So, of course, I said yes. Okay, so this is part of the kit that I am going to be working with. This is a digital kit that I purchased on Etsy. And I wasn't planning on showing the whole kit to you today. I think I might do that tomorrow or on Saturday. But just looking through here to see if there's anything that I like that I think would be sweet. I do like this first one because this one has this pale pink tulip in here. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So thank you all of you who have been praying for my mom. It has been a difficult year for sure and really a difficult couple of months and it is crazy how after 90 there has been such a rapid decline in her memory and so that's been really hard because not only does she have to go to the doctor so much and she's been falling a lot now it is she gets disoriented and doesn't really understand everything all the time now so so that is making it a little bit difficult i do like that okay so i think what i want to do is maybe add in some book page here i'm going to ink this i'm going to add in some book page and then we'll see where we go next okay 
So how about you guys? How has your year been going so far this year in 2024? It's so hard for me to believe that it is already 2024. And you can hear that is my mother's dog, maybe barking in the background. She's very loud and because my mom has fallen so much, um, we are watching her dog <laughs> for her in hopes that she will get strong enough to be able to have her dog back with her because she loves that dog so, so much. Okay, so I got a piece of book page over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tear down this top part and it's a very old book page, so it's pretty brittle. That was a pretty shabby job of tearing straight. So let's see here if I can do this any better. I just admire these crafters who can talk and craft at the same time. I thought, you know, hey, I can try that, but you know, it's difficult. <laughs> I am not so swift at crafting and chit-chatting at the same time. Okay, so I've torn my book page and I think that's gonna look good but I was wondering if what if I frame this with something else just to help set it apart a little bit more and I am loving the textures of wallpaper and so this is just a wallpaper sample book that I got for free and so from a paint store so I want it to contrast but not quite blend in so much. It's almost the same color. It's like if I go with the gray, oh, maybe this. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this piece. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this out of my little wallpaper book here. Okay, so I'm using some beacon glue which is very similar to Fabri-Tac, and this is a more heavy duty glue. And I'm doing that because I'm gluing onto wallpaper, not to paper. Well, I use this beacon glue for paper too, but because I am putting it on wallpaper, I wanted something that was sturdy. Really push down the edges and cut this off. So what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Did you do anything special? Did you go for a walk? Did you go out to eat? Did your hubby or did you make your hubby something special for dinner? I made my hubby pot roast. That was what he really wanted and it's not something we have that often. So that was really fun to eat some pot roast and he seemed super happy. <laughs> he seemed super happy after that, so that was good. Okay, I'm just gonna ink the edges. There we go. It is a little darker. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this brown right on the edge over here. I'm not even using a dauber. <laughs> so, go ahead and put that on so it can stand out. So I think that looks cool. It seems like it could use maybe a third thing. I'm not sure if I want it on this side, but maybe some like Okay, so I cut out different things and didn't all like it at least for the outside, but I had this lace that kind of looks like leaves and vines, and so I thought that would be pretty on here. And so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. So I think about like that. So let me go ahead and first put this down. I'm gonna ink this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue stick to this and then position it on the page. So now what I'm gonna do is 
put a little bit of glue on this wallpaper and then I'm going to just to hold it in place and then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and stitch it down like that okay I will be right back after I stitch and I just did a straight stitch all the way around and I had gold thread in my machine and so that what that's what I went with. Now I do want to say that you can see it through on the back, which I actually think is beautiful and interesting, but if you didn't want that, you could stitch it ahead of time, glue it down, and then you wouldn't have anything on the back. Okay, so next I wanted to glue some of this trim on. But I'm going to use hot glue just because I know that it dries super fast. And I'm just going to put a little dab on these leaves. So yesterday, my husband and I were going to take a trip to Kentucky. Just It's only about an hour and a half or so drive away from us on Valentine's Day. But then my mom's dialysis center said hey she really has to come in today so <laughs> change of plans and so that's why the pot roast became super fun that we could have that together at night i'm going to put it like that towards the top of the page i think you know when you have kids your plans have to always remain flexible and i'll tell you this when you are doing elder care when you're caring for for your parents, you have to remain just as flexible with your plans. Okay, I think that's so pretty. And then maybe I just need um, a label right there. I'm just going to take my vintage photo and just try and go in some of those little crevices. Right there, okay. I'm going to use my glue stick to glue this down. And you want to push pretty hard so that it will go to the end so it won't pop off. And I love that it says on my love. Oh, I think that's very, very sweet. So I think that is such a fun page, right? In a journal and so then this would go in the signature so this would be separate from this and so now we just need to figure out what we want to do on the insides okay I went into my stash and this is the beauty of making some of your ephemera ahead of time but do you remember not that long ago I showed you this was a project life card that I did some of this gesso on here actually not gesso paste on here and I think that would be such a beautiful pocket. So I am going to take my hot glue and run that just on those two sides and put that close to the edge but not all the way to the edge. Just like that. And so now I have a tuck. And then I had also made this beautiful journal card right here. And again, this is using that raised paste for the background. And then the sweet fabric, I mean, shoots me the sweet paper and it says sweet even. And so I think that is gonna be so nice tucked in there. Oh, I think that's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the other thing that I made recently was this. These are these double pocket flips where you can journal. And I will put a link to this one because this is a tutorial. And this is the perfect way you can use this on a page. Look, it would just fold over like this. Okay, so that would take up this whole page. And then look, we can even glue these sides and make a tuck for this page. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little hot glue here and a little hot glue here. And I'm going to wrap that over the page and apply pressure just like that. Oh, so fun. I love when you have pre-made things and it just makes it so much easier. And you can see these are just raffle tickets I stuck in here. This just has a sticker on it. 
And then these are just some whale tails. This is an old Dollar Tree sticker. Here is a little piece of trim. Okay, so for in here, what I think I wanna do is maybe put a piece of washi tape to strengthen this edge and also because I tore that a little bit. So let me go get a piece of washi. I'm gonna use this gold because I stitched with the gold on the front. I'm just gonna kind of measure about like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and then I'm gonna run it over my glue stick even though this seems very sticky. <laughs> that seems like really awesomely sticky washi tape but just to make sure I'm just gonna run this over my glue stick. I just want to make those creases there. Okay, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna just clip this little piece off here and I am gonna glue this down right on that. So you won't be able to tell that I made a tiny little boo-boo right there. Okay, I'm just gonna use that very same trim right there on the bottom to hide that little glue stick goober. <laughs> okay, so there we go there. And this, and this, and this. And now we have used all the tiny little scraps that we made as well. So this folds over as a place to uh, journal. And you've got some journaling cards there. And then this is gonna get sewn into the signature like that. And then let's see, what can we put here on the back? I also made this beautiful journal card. And so I think I'm just gonna tuck that in back there. Oh, I think this is such a pretty, pretty, pretty page. I even wanna add this piece of lace. How would that look on the inside? Oh, that would look so pretty on the inside as well. So I think, I'm going to add this little piece of lace here. I'm going to apply just a little bit of hot glue on the top. And then I bought this little silicone spatula from Timu to be able to push things down and have it not stick. So I'm trying it out for the first time. So pretty. Let me go ahead and add a little bit more just to the top. Get that hot glue off before it dries. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and just trim that so even with this and flip it over on the back and trim it even on the back as well. So there you have it. There we did. We made it together, you guys. Our first page in the journal, in the botanical journal. Oh, I love it. And I hope you do too. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.